Say be thou exalted. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you for preserving our lives, for preserving our homes. Father, we say be thou exalted. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. I hope we are thanking God for your life, for your family, for your loved ones, for everything that has happened, both the good and the not so good. We just thank God for his sovereignty. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you adoration. Father, we say be thou exalted. Father, we say be thou exalted. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Um, the team for our, um, for our three days of glory this year is finishing strong. And, you know, before we read the verse of scripture that you know, dropped in my heart, I just want us to sing this song together. I don't know if we know it, but I hope we do. It says, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome. In this place, Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome. In this place, O me, potent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Well, just to, um, I, for as many of us, sorry if, in case most of us don't know this song, it was just dropped in my heart and I just thought we should um, sing this song. I'm just going to take you one more time. You know, it says that the omnipotent is like infinite in power, infinite in power. And we're, we're, we're going to be trusting God to help us finishing strong, asking for divine assistance. And it's just a place of acknowledging God as the one who is infinite in power. It's just a place of acknowledging God as the one who is infinite in power. And so that was the point of that song. Please, I want us to open our Bibles to Isaiah 30, verse 18. NLT translation, please. Isaiah 30, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. We'll be reading from verse 18. Uh, I start reading from here. It says that, but the Lord still waits for you to come to him so that he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God and blessed are those who wait for his help. Verse 19 says, O people of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. It will be gracious if you ask for help. It will respond instantly to the sound of your cries. Verse 21 says, and you will hear a voice say, this is the way. Turn around and walk here. We're, we're trusting God for divine assistance. We're trusting God for divine assistance. And, you know, it means when, you, when we're talking about assistance, you're talking about it's like help in terms of money, resources, or even information to help you to do something more effectively. And so whether it's your project, it is the assignment that God has given you at the beginning of this year, whether it's for family, whether it's for a new thing you want to start, even though the year is about to run to an end. We're asking God for his assistance. And we see that he says that God is waiting for us to come. So that means God has waited for today to come. Like God has literally waited for you in church to come today, to come and ask for his help. And he says that it will be gracious if you ask for his help. So I just want us to close eyes and just talk to God. Ask for God's help. Ask for God's help. God, I'm asking for your help. As concerning my family, I'm asking for help. As concerning my children, I'm asking for help. Concerning my career, I ask for help. Ask for help. It is as simple as, God, help me. God, help me. I I receive divine assistance. I receive divine assistance over the work of my hands. I receive 
receive divine assistance over the work of my hands. I receive divine assistance, even if it's for your spiritual life. Ask for help. Ask for help. Say, God, I receive help. I receive help from you. 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 In the name of Jesus, list them one by one. List them one by one. List them one by one. I receive help from you. Over my finances, I receive help from you. Over my health, I receive help from you. I am helped of the Lord. 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 I hope we are praying. 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 The scripture says that the Lord is waiting for you to come. And now that you have come, ask of the Lord. He said it will be gracious if you ask. It will be gracious if you ask. The word has said it and we are keen into it. Lord, I ask for help. I receive your help in the name of Jesus. I receive your help in the name of Jesus. Over my career, I receive help. Let Lord, I receive help. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we're still praying. You know, if you can do something by yourself, you will not ask for help. If you, if, you, if you are capable of doing something, the chances of asking for help will be very low. And so when we find, our place, when we find ourselves in a place where we are reluctant to ask for God's help in whatever area, what we are literally trying to say is that we can do it on our own. And... When you, that's why it's like saying that if you ask for help, it will be gracious. That's why it's not like it's just jumping into your business. And so that is why it is important that for every area that we literally ask that God help me. God help me. Because not asking for help is a state of self-sufficiency. It's a state of self And if you know that you are dependent on God, then we should know that you, should, you have no other choice but to ask for his help. But to ask for his help. And it is written that if you ask, you would receive. And so I want us to pray again concerning... For, for those that have projects ahead of them that they are stuck halfway, for those that have new projects that are about to start, ask for the help of God. Lord, I receive your help. Concerning this, I receive your help. Concerning this project in front of me, I receive your help. Concerning this project in front of me, I receive your help. I'm helped of the Lord. I finish strong in the name of Jesus. I finish strong in the name of Jesus. I finish strong in the name of Jesus. No, you cannot, we cannot do life on our own. Even self-preservation, we cannot do it on our own. It is God that would help us. Lord, help me. Lord, help me over my family. Lord help me, Lord help me, Lord help me, Lord help me, Lord help me. I receive help. I receive help. I am not stranded. I am not stranded. Human resources, finances, information, divine assistance, assistance. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help again. I'm It's okay to ask for help again. It's okay to ask for help again. Lekata Ilebarana 
Mato Sigidia, Alecosha, Lebere Bedidia, Acambele Nosca, Temenecate Beletta, Icambele Nosca, Tibalan de Kelenosiata, Le Barricosa, Tama Mate, Le Ketosha, Gede de Belena, Icababa Bale, Ecosa, Tabele Manatida, Le Cosca Tibalanate, Le Ma Icosha, Namanatelia, the Bambele Cosigidia, the Balia. In Jesus' mighty name, I'm still praying. You know, the Spirit of God is saying that, you know, for some people it might have been that you've started something, whether with God or not, and then it's like you, like you left God at some point and you moved on, and then it's like you're stranded. It's like you're confused. You don't know what else to do. You know, we're saying that it's okay to ask for help again. It's okay to ask for help again. Even though you asked for help yesterday, ask again today. Ask for help again. It is very okay to ask for help again. It is, it is deception to think because you have slighted God or you left God at some point that since you're now stranded, you are doomed. It's okay to ask for help again. And that's what, that's what the Spirit of God is asking us to do this afternoon. I also want us to pray for sensitivity to divine assistance. You know, um, Psalms 32 verse 8. Psalms 32 verse 8 says that I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. And I will guide thee with my eyes. You know, in church we've been learning about our relationship with God, our up. And it is in that place that you, you, your sensitivity will, over time develops with God. You know when God is speaking to you, when he will have you wait, when he will have you go. And a lot of times, help comes. It's maybe for, I mean, I've even had it's a project or something, and then you just know in your spirit that you should not do it. That is God. That is, that's all the help you need because investing in that would have been a disaster. And so we are praying for sensitivity to divine assistance. That we are sensitive to the leading of God. We are sensitive to listening to instructions. We are sensitive to his teachings. We are sensitive to his guidance. To his guidance. It's not all the time we are going to hear a voice. It's just that nudging in our spirit that is going to save us a lot of trouble. It's that nudging in our spirit that is going to let you know who to talk to at that point in time. That name will just drop in your heart. But if we're not sensitive, we will just wave it off. Our minds are just clouded with so much information. So I want us to ask, Holy Spirit, I ask for sensitivity to your assistance. I ask for sensitivity to your assistance. In the name of Jesus, I am sensitive. My heart perceives accurately. In the name of Jesus, my heart perceives accurately. In the name of Jesus, my heart perceives accurately in the name of Jesus. My heart perceives accurately in the name of Jesus. And in case we have anybody here that has a particular thing, you want to you want to know what the mind of God is. You just need help. You just need help. Like we said, assistance can be information. You just need to know what God is saying. Like we have been taught, just spend time praying in the spirit right now. Put that matter in your heart and just pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost with that matter on your mind. With that matter on your mind, answers will come now. Answers will come now answers will come now le koshana mambeleke ile barana kosha tembeleke ti manande eli barike ne man koshe ti ba pambele ti a koshana tambele ne manatida le rama kosha ta baba bali ele bereke doshe ne mande le kapa ile manande kalibare manaski ti ambe kosha tambeke ti le rapambe ke te pa ile nande la eshata baba baba bate ikama na mana manate le Cosha tambelekea, ilava baba baloska te belenda baya, elikambe kalia da baya na manande, ishata le bali, e kambele no sia da baya, ileka baba baba teya, le katosha tambeleke liba ramani kalia, elosha tambele de 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 belia, akama na mana mana manate, le barreke de 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 manatosia, akeba le nate, le kambele rose baba balia na mande, ilava baba na na. Le rebe do shana mana 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 ti rebe kadi ba 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 ta le reke te 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 mene kosia akeba la no shata mbele kele dida arama na mana mana te lika ba 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 le na na ti ale no shake ba 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 le ikate le ro shata mbele kani ana mande ikame ne kose kede ba le rebe de 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 ba ishana da 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 ba da ele bara mana ke ya eshikata ba na mana ke ya ali ba na no se de 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 balia e kapate le mo ke ti bala nam bele ko se ke de bele ke ti adaya e ma 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 no se ke de bele no se ke ti baya e kam bele ko se ile bara ba 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 ti da e shana da 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 bele ko si adaya in Jesus mighty name we're still praying you know for some people my answer might have come and you don't know 
Holy Spirit just drew my attention to another group of people that were used to Holy Spirit, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We get we get an impression and we move and we move and we move. And that is as much as our relationship with the Holy Spirit. We have turned him to to quick quick response and we are not spending time and that's why on that particular matter it seems like there's no answer coming because it's just drawing you to come and spend time it's just drawing you to come and spend time it's not because the answer is is very deep it's just because he, he's missed you that's the best way to put it and he just wants you to come and spend time and that's why it seems that there is no answer to that particular thing it seems like it's not looking it's not looking straightforward it seems confusing it seems all choking and so just and we're not supposed to grieve the Holy Spirit because we know that the Holy Spirit is whom the Father has sent to teach us all things and to guide us in all things. And so I just want that wherever you are, if one person or a group of persons, let's just repent of it. Let's, let's ask God to forgive us. Let's ask God to forgive us because we have turned it into a, a quick answer, a quick guidance. Just this time, just greet our God. I have mercy on man. We go. We have, not, we have lost spending time with the Holy Spirit. I want us to ask that God would forgive us. God would forgive us that we repent of such attitude. We repent of such attitude. We receive help to spend time with God. 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 Holy Spirit, we repent, we repent, we repent of such attitudes, such behaviors. We repent, we repent in the name of Jesus. We repent in the name of Jesus. We are sorry. We are sorry. Help our infirmities, Holy Spirit. We make time for you. We make time for you. We make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus we make time for you in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name of prayer you know this song says I'll put you in front in front of my destiny you are all that matters you are all that matters because everything we are looking for in god is secure preservation is secure in christ our provision is secure in christ everything is secure in christ and so when we are when we are far away from god that's where the problem is the problem is being far away from god because when you are with god before you leave your house in the morning you know what the day entails and when things come suddenly the spirit of god within you is already stirred and you know what to do you are not stranded you are not stranded and so we cannot afford to have schedules busy trying to get money trying to try to meet up with demands to take us away from the source of our life i want us to eat a dedication to god it's just you and jesus you and jesus example to my mind you know being a medical student once exam comes like this you just like god understands we just open up we just open read one verse you move sometimes you recite the verse that you had like on sunday and you move and we say god understands god understands and you know those people are just warning me that as much as god understands it is not good for you 
as much as God understands, it doesn't, you are not secure in that kind of a thing. You are not secure in that kind of a thing. And so it's a, it's a call to repentance. That we will stop it. That we would stop it. That we would stop it. If we will not forget to have our bath before we leave our homes to go to work, then we should not forget to speak with the Lord. We should not forget to speak with the Lord. We should stop it. We should stop it. It's a stern warning. We should stop it. Because all that we are looking for is secured in God. And so the only thing we need is to be with God so that we everything else we're taking care of we should stop it we should stop it we should stop it lastly i just want us to pray for the church that as a church we receive divine assistance this season in the name of jesus in terms of resources in terms of human persons information needed wisdom we receive divine assistance as a church in the name of jesus let us pray for our church let us pray for our church global harvest church our body gra you are helped of the lord in terms of people person you are helped of the lord infrastructure you are helped of the lord finances you are helped of the lord in the name of jesus let caution in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray in a few minutes we're going to be interceding for nigeria we're going to be asking for god's intervention in the affairs of this nation the bible says god sits in heaven and from there he rules in the affairs of men on earth um on monday during our monday meetings in the office we were joking uh, myself and my colleagues and at some point i just remember we we're playing with um, this issue of kidnapping and one of us, without any prior knowledge, just spoke to my other colleague that it is you that they will kidnap. And I was like, ah, what is this personal attack? We're just talking. He said, have they kidnapped you before? Have they kidnapped anyone around you before? He said, no, now. We didn't know that something had happened to this guy. He said, they have kidnapped, I think, his younger brother or sister before. And if you know what it means for a family, for someone in the family to be kidnapped, um, this um, lady in the Bible permit me to use the word lady Esther she was young she was safe where she was and there was a tribulation that was about to come to her people and you know her uncle told her at some point I'm paraphrasing don't think you are safe where you are if this calamity eventually touches us where you think you are safe it will reach you there I want us to know traveling abroad is not does not really guarantee the safety for our nation nobody travels with his entire clan out of this nation i want us to holy spirit told me while i was preparing for this that when we want to pray because me even myself sometimes i pray out of praying i don't pray with faith about nigeria because it's like i've lost faith i don't even think god even i don't think there is a remedy again but God said we should pray again with faith in our hearts. We should believe in Nigeria once again. Even if you do not believe in Nigeria, believe in the power of God to redeem this country. And uh, part of what he told me to do is that we should pray in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Ghost for some time this evening. Thinking about Nigeria, focusing on Nigeria. Because I'm lost of words. I don't know what to say. Is it that God... Don't let that be kidnapping. There are too many calamities that words can mention to God. But the word of the Spirit are understandable by God. And I want us to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I want us to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want us to pray in the Holy Ghost concerning Nigeria. Do not forget, have faith as you pray. Pray with faith in your heart. The Bible says everything is possible for him that believes. Everything is possible for those that believe. Everything is possible. I want us to see possibility about Nigeria. Let us see possibility. Let us see possibility. The God we serve is the God of possibility. He said to human beings, to the flesh, all these things may 
may be impossible to walk because of what we have seen. It may be beyond rede redeemability. Nigeria may have been so bad beyond repair. But the God we serve is the God of possibility. To him, all things are possible. Nigeria is possible. Nigeria is possible. Can we pray the Holy Ghost? Hey, hey. me to say he said this thing is closer than we think you know i have tried to devise different means i remember i've said to some of my friends that i think in this in the situation we are in right now in the country the car owners seem to be safer than people that don't have cars but i have seen where they point gun at people and say get out of your car they didn't carry their car they were not interested in their car they removed them from their car nobody is safe before we used to hear it in the north, it's happening in the northeast, and we don't feel it. It's happening, it's closer, it's closer. It seems around us. We don't know, they don't write it on the face. Like they say, we don't know the next person. But I know evil will not befall any of us. Evil will not befall any of our nation. Evil will not, will not befall our church. But I want us to intercede for this nation. If you understand what I just said, I want us to intercede. That song they're playing, it says, can you see it? Can you sense it? Can you feel it? He said the king of glory. As we are praying the Holy Ghost again, I want us to see the king of glory rising over Nigeria matters. I want us to invite his presence. I want us to invite him that. I want us to see the, 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 you know, the, the, the angelic, angelic companies surrounding this nation. Taking over. Taking over. Jesus taking over. Let us enthrone his kingship. 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 He said, Kabo. I want you to shout, Kabo. Jesus, Kabo. Welcome to Nigeria again. Welcome to Nigeria again. Jesus, welcome to Nigeria again. Jesus, welcome to Nigeria again. Welcome to Nigeria again. Welcome to Nigeria again. We have been expecting your deliverance. We have been expecting your salvation. We have been expecting your miraculous. We have been expecting the supernatural. Welcome, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Can we pray the Holy Ghost? Can we pray the Holy Ghost? Can we pray the Holy Ghost? Let the brave hand rock your regalia. Malululu brave hand rock your tento to shoot. Malululu brave hand on your coach regalia. Malululu brave hand on your coach regalia. He content to shoot. Malululu brave hand on your coach shoot. Malululu brave hand on your coach regalia. He shoot shoot to call the little brave hand on. Mahuta to shoot. Hey, ha 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 ha. Let me show you the regalia. Welcome, welcome to Nigeria again. Welcome to Nigeria. Let me show you the regalia. Tu es 
in my spirit right now is that some of us, we, we are praying for others. We don't see ourselves in the prayer we are praying. I said, why? He said, because your visa is on the way. You think, I will soon go. Let me pray for them. Maybe someone has promised you. But for some of us, I don't even have money for my own personal visa. And we are a family of four. I have parents, both of them. I have several other siblings in this country. Not to talk of cousins. I cannot carry all. I want us to see this thing very well. Some of us are even educated. Hallelujah. There is something they call muscular dystrophy or something. I don't know what the... Is the condition? I mean, I saw a video and I saw that lady to even move, lift the leg. They have to help her. She has to, to move the leg. She went for a physiotherapy um, session and they said she should lift her leg. She cannot lift it for one second. For one second, like just lift your leg by yourself. That is how some of us are paralyzed about exiting this country. Except the Lord help us. We cannot find help. And I want us to cry again. If you know you are secure, whichever way you think about it, but I want us to intercede. I want us to intercede. That's why I'm not saying we should pray for kidnapping to stop. But I know God's intervention can cover all. God's intervention can settle all. God's intervention can clear it all. Can somebody get angry in that spirit again? Can we put pressure on the word of God concerning Nigeria? Can we put pressure on the word of God again? Let's invite Jesus to Nigeria again. Let's ask him to take over. Let's ask him to take over. Over the affairs of this nation. your Bible here or maybe they have shared on the screen. We're going to read Psalm 85 because actually I didn't know. I just told God that I don't know what I'm coming here to do but just do something. I mean I'm hungry. I'm in the political space. I know what is happening. I know what is what is happening to some extent maybe but I want us to still intercede and we're going to be reading the whole of Psalm 85. I don't know but I sense in my spirit why this dropped in my spirit that God says this is part of my agenda for Nigeria in this season. We're going to be reading it and I want all of us to proclaim it. It's like a declaration over our land. Wherever they mention Jacob or Israel, whatever version you're using, mention Nigeria there. And there is just one more thing we will do before we leave this place. So please, can we read together? I'm reading NLT version. Whatever version you have, I just want all of us to declare it together. Please, while the music is going, can we read it together? Lord, you poured out blessings on your Nigeria. You restored the fortunes of Nigeria. You forgave the guilt of your people. Yes, you covered all their sins. You held back your fury, Lord. You kept back your blazing hunger. Now restore us again, O God of our salvation. Put aside your hunger against us once more. Will you be hungry with us always? Will you prolong your rod to our generations? Won't you revive us again, O Lord, so your people can rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I listen carefully to all God, the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to his faithful people. But let them not return to their foolish ways. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, so our land will be filled with his glory. Unfailing love, truth, have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed through springs all from the heart, and righteousness marks down from heaven. Yes, the Lord pours down his blessings. Our land will yield his bountiful harvest. Righteousness goes as a herald before him, preparing the way for himself. Somebody shout, Amen! And the last thing God says we should pray about is using the second stanza of our national anthem. We're going to declare that word. I have we, we have biblical relevance. The person that was composing that song then did not know that they are, they are revelational truth. We're going to pray to the God of creation that 
he will continue to direct the noble cause of our leaders. He will continue to guide the youth of this nation. I want us to begin to pray that in the name of Jesus. Let us declare that stanza before the Lord this evening that the Lord will direct their noble causes. The Lord will guide the youth of this nation. He will help the leaders to do the right thing in the name of Jesus. He will guide our leaders, right? He will help our youth the truth to know in love and honesty to grow and live in just and true. Great love the eyes today in Nigeria to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. Justice and justice and mercy shall reign in this nation again. Justice and peace shall reign in this nation again. We declare freedom. We declare peace. We declare justice. We declare the righteousness of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. we continue to pray for Nigeria and we continue to pray for Nigeria we are praying in the spirit we are still praying in the spirit we have no other country but Nigeria Lord, move in our country, Nigeria. Lord, take your place in the name of Jesus. Lord, rule and reign in Jesus' name. Lord, rule and reign in Jesus' name. Take your place, Jehovah. Take your place, Jehovah. Masu kebo shene. Harabo se kebo she kebo susu. Hurabo se kebo sunde kese. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Let us not relent. Let's keep praying for our nation, Nigeria. Let's keep praying. Like this is actually the time to pray more for Nigeria like never before. And for your information, we'll be praying for Nigeria tomorrow at 5.30 here in the church or if not in the field church. Please join us if you have a passion, if you have a burden for Nigeria. We'll be praying for Nigeria at prayer time 5.30 to 6.30 by the grace of God. So we are praying. This is a um, third day of three days of glory and right now we're praying about finishing strong. We're finishing strong in the mighty name of Jesus and I want us to deal with some things this evening. First of all, I want us to deal with fear. If you have fear, there's no way we'll be able to already that means the person is defeated i want us to deal with fear we will not run the rest of the year in fear we will not uh, we will not uh, uh, call what they call confederacy confederacy i want us this evening to deal with fear can we open our bibles to john 14 the amplified version as if we are still praying let's be praying underneath our breath even as we look at the scriptures this evening it's actually a time of declaration. John 14 verse 1. It says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Sorry, I want the amplified, please. Don't let your hearts be troubled, distressed, agitated. Another translation says, afraid and cowardly. You believe in me? and adhere to and trust in rely on god believe in adhere to trust in and rely also in me this is jesus speaking here he says do not let your heart be troubled do not be afraid do not behave cowardly believe confidently in god and trust in him have faith hold on to it rely on it keep going Keep going and believe also in me. This evening, I want us to pray. I want us to deal with fear. 
and I want us to declare in the name of Jesus, my heart is not troubled. In this season, I am not afraid because I have the greater one inside of me. I believe in God. I trust in God. I rely on him in the name of Jesus and I'm holding on to him in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, do not let your heart be troubled. The situation around is not giving anybody um, um, peace. But we have the peace of God because we are the children of God. I want us to declare this evening, I have peace in the name of Jesus. My heart is not troubled. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we cast out that spirit of fear. We rebuke that spirit. In the name of Jesus, our hearts are fixed, trusting in the Lord. Our hearts are fixed, trusting in the Lord. Can we look at Proverbs 3? Proverbs 3 this evening. In the name of Jesus, Kusebo shende kesebo susu mande rebo se kebo shende de baba. Proverbs three from verse five it says, "Trust in the Lord, trust and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding or insight. In all your ways, know, acknowledge, recognize Him, and it will make your path straight, smooth, removing every obstacle. Trust not in your own understanding." Can we declare this evening in the name of Jesus? In all my ways, I acknowledge God. It says, acknowledge him in all your ways. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Lord Jehovah, I bring you into every situation of my life. Lord, take your place. Rely not, rely not, but trust in the Lord with all your hearts, with all your hearts. Maka sekebo, kurabo sekebo, marusu susum. Maka sekebo shende kese, kurabo sekebo sususunde. Maruku sukebo shende kese baba, karabo sekebo shende kese bo susum. In the name of Jesus, some of us I know, some are already thinking, is this how it's going to end this year? I want to tell you, God is faithful. Kurabo shende, God is faithful. We serve a faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can we open to Hebrews 10 from verse 35? We are finishing strong this year in the name of Jesus. Hebrews 10 from verse 35. The Amplified says, please, it says, 35 says, do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it has a glorious and great reward. Some of us, we started very well from January. By the time it's June, you're already having a shaky, shaky leg. By the time it's November, now you're wondering, is it actually going to happen? I tell you, God is faithful. And it is a God that does not even look at time. And so God can do what only him can do. I want us to pray this. It says, cast not away. Do not therefore fling away your confidence. For it has a glorious and great reward. For you have need of patience and endurance. To bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising. Some of us, you know, we are caving in. Some are not even coming again. I'm, I'm even tired. I don't know what to do. It says, do not cast it away. Do not throw it away. Keep on pushing. It says, hold on. That's what... That John 14 says, it says, so that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy to the full what is promised. For it says, so that you may receive and enjoy to full. I want us to declare this evening, I will not cast away my confidence. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remain steadfast, I have patience, and I endure. In the name of Jesus, it says, so that you may receive, so that you may receive and enjoy. There is a condition there. It says so that you may perform and fully accomplish the will of God and thus receive and carry away and enjoy to the full what he has promised. 
God has promised us so many things. In the beginning of the year, we had different, different promises. I want us this evening to re start recounting those promises. Let's start recounting the promises of God. This is now your own thing. I want you to declare. I want you to recount those promises. God cannot lie. We serve a God who does not lie. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your promises. Because they are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Masukebo shende, hurabo sekebo susunde. In the name of Jesus, every word concerning me shall come to pass. Every good word of yours that you have spoken concerning me. Father, in the name of Jesus, they come to manifestation. Even in this season, in Jesus' name. Kanturebo sukebo shende derebo susu. Marabo sekekebo. Thank you because I flourish in the land. Thank you because I thrive. I bloom. I blossom. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you because my joy is full. It's complete and it's overflowing. In the name of Jesus. Karu sekebo shende. Karabo sususunde bo susum. Can we look at Joshua 21 this evening? Can we look at Joshua 21? Joshua 21. Joshua 21 I just want us to read the last verse it's actually from for the last verse of Joshua 21 Joshua 21 can we look at that verse 45 it says that filled no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all it did not say some it didn't say one or two it says all came to pass and that will be our portion in the name of Jesus that will be our portion in the name of Jesus they have failed no part of any good thing nothing out of which God promised to the house of Israel can we declare that concerning our homes this evening concerning our lives thank you Lord Jesus because every word of yours will come to pass in the name of Jesus none will go unfulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus Maru Sukebo can you remind him of those promises? Can you remind him of those promises? Some of us every month we receive from God. This is what you are holding on to for the month. Can you remind him the ones that you have received, the ones that you are still waiting for the manifestation? Father, thank you for your promises. Thank you for your promises. The Bible says God is not man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? Will he not do it? Has he spoken it? Will he not make it good and fulfill it? He says, will he not make it good and fulfill it? Thank you for your promises. Thank you because you are faithful to your promises. Thank you, Father, because you are not man that you should lie. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you are not man that you should lie. Thank you because you have said it. Thank you because you will do it. The Bible says, have, has, has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever spoken and failed to act? That's not the God that we serve. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because you keep to your promises. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your promises concerning our lives, oh God, they come to pass. In the name of Jesus promises concerning oh god our future promises concerning our children promises concerning the church promises concerning our finances promises concerning protection lord they all come to pass in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed i want us to pray don't forget our theme is finishing strong Finishing strong. Can we look at First Kings 18 this evening? First King 18, verse 46. First King 18, 46. It says this was um, a story of Elijah and the and the uh, uh, the Baal prince. The last part of it, after the miracle after the supernatural um, acts of God, after, you know, when the rain came, it says, the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. 
he guided off his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel, nearly 20 miles. My emphasis here this evening is the hand of God. And I want us to pray this evening about the hand of God. That Lord God, let your hand, the supernatural hand of God, that hand of God that talks about power, the hand of God talks about his strength, the hand of the Lord talks about his blessings. The hand of the Lord talks about his favor. I want you to pray this evening. He says the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. The hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And he outran. He did what he could not do. I don't know what you've struggled with from January till now. I want you to call for that hand this evening. Lord, let your hand be upon me. In the name of Jesus, let your hand be upon the work that I do. In the name of Jesus, let your hand be upon the areas of my struggles. In the name of Jesus, Marusu kebo shende, Makatsu susu kebo susunde, Maruku sukebo shende kese. The Bible says the hand of the Lord does valiantly. Kurabo se kebo shende dede, Marabo susu. Let's ask, let's ask for that hand to be upon us. In the name of Jesus, I will read a few scriptures and I want you to pray about them. We are praying about the hand of the Lord. That hand was the one that energized Elijah. That hand pushed him forward. That hand promoted him. That hand advanced him. Let's pray about the hand of God this evening. Lord, let your hand be upon my home. Your hand of promotion. Your hand of protection. Your hand of provision. Psalm 118 verse 16. Psalm 118 verse 16. I want us to look at the TPT version. The Psalm 118 verse 16. It says the hand of Yahweh exalts. That's the hands that lifts one up. That's the hands that promotes. Your promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from God. He says the hand of Yahweh exalts. The right hand of Yahweh never fails. Can we pray by that hand this morning, this evening? Lord, let your hand lift me up. Let your hand be upon me. Even though everything is going haywire, Lord, let your hand, the hand of the Lord does not fail. The hand of the Lord does valiantly. Kandabo sukebo, hurabo sekeke. His hand does glorious things. The hand of the Lord does marvelous things. The hand of the Lord does wondrous things. Kundebo sukebo, mako sekebo shende, marusu susunde kebo susu. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 139 verse 5, the NLT version. Psalm 139 verse 5, the NLT version. The hand of the Lord protects. Psalm 139 verse 5, the NLT version. Mosukebo shendebo susu. Hurabo NLT please. Morusekebo says, you go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Can we ask for that hand of blessing upon us this evening? In the name of Jesus. Lord, you will go before us into the rest of the year. Lord, you will come behind us. Another translation says, you surround me. You surround me with your wraparound presence. Your hand, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for your hand of blessing. Your hand of victory. Your hand in the name of Jesus of triumph. Your hand of provision. Your hand of protection. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You will go before us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord, for the miracles of your hand. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lastly, this evening, I just want us to pray about security. We prayed part of it when we prayed for Nigeria. But I want us to pray and make declarations concerning our homes. 2 Thessalonians 3 3. 2 Thessalonians 3 3. Then we will now go to 2 Thessalonians 3 3. It says, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you. He will guard you from the evil one. Another one says, He will guard you from harm. 
I want us to declare that concerning our lives, concerning our homes. I want us to declare, Lord, you are faithful. We declare you faithful. You have kept us from January till now. You have kept our homes from January till now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we know you're a faithful God. Lord, you will strengthen us. We are finishing strong in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you will strengthen us. You will guard us from the evil one. You will shield us from the evil one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can we lastly look at Psalm 91? And I want us all to go through Psalm 91. Tarabo shendebo susu kurabo sekebo. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm 91, everybody. Karabo shekebo sunde madun darabo seke. And I want you to declare, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I remain secure and rest. Can we go together? I live, don't say those. You, you are referring to yourself now. We, my family, we live in the shelter of the Most High. We find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, this we declare about the Lord. He alone is our refuge, our place of safety. Is our God and in Him we trust. For it will rescue us from every trap and protect us from deadly diseases. It will cover us with his feathers and it will shelter us with his wings. His faithful promises are armor and protection. We will not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. We do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at mean day. Though a thousand fall at our side, Though 10,000 are dying all around us, these evils will not touch us in Jesus' name. We'll open our eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If we, because we have made the Lord our refuge and the most high our shelter, no evil will conquer us. No plague will come near our home in the name of Jesus. For he will give other, he order his angels to protect us wherever we go. They will hold us up in their hands so we won't hurt our foot on a stone. We will trample upon the lions and the cobras. We will crush the fair lions and serpents under our feet. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he will rescue us because we love him. He will protect us because we trust in his name. When we call upon him, the Lord will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will rescue us and honor us. He will reward us with a long life and give us salvation praise the lord hallelujah yeah. if you believe god your amen will be very loud just lift up your hands we are landing up now just lift up your hands and give god praise in the name of the lord jesus psalm 65 verse 11 the bible says he crowns the year with his goodness psalm 65 verse 11 he crowns the year with his goodness I decree concerning you, God will crown this year with his goodness for you. He will crown him this year with his favor for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, some things that have not manifested yet before the end of this year, 2022, you will see the manifestation. Just lift up your hands towards heaven if you believe. Uh, somebody under the sound of my voice the bible says we looked upon him our mouth testified of it our aunt handled it that promise will become a reality it will not just be something you are believing god for it will be something you are testifying about the goodness of god about in the name of jesus and it's gonna happen before the end of this year in the name of jesus your parts will drop with the abundance of the goodness of the lord I thought I'm talking to somebody under the sound of my voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Joel, 20, Joel chapter 2 verse 25 to 26. It says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, the chewing locusts, the great army which I sent to you. He said, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. I decree restoration. I said restoration. The times you lost, the opportunities you lost, the money you lost, in this past 10 months, in two months, it will be restored unto you. If I'm talking to you, amen, should be louder than that. 
I said there is a restoration coming to you. Everything that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar has eat, eaten, there is a restoration. And after this the restoration, it says what will happen? You will eat in plenty. You will be satisfied. You will praise the name of the Lord your God because he has dealt with you wondrously. There are some wondrous things that will happen to you before the end of this year. Before December 31st, it will happen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why he crowns the year with his goodness. That is your testimony in the name of Jesus. Wave your hand towards heaven. Wave your hand towards heaven. That is your testimony. Hallelujah. So Father Lord, we bless you. Because somebody under the sound of my voice is coming back with a testimony. Thank you Lord Jesus. Because those things that looked impossible for 10 months will become a reality in 2 months. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord Jesus because your hand is coming upon us. Somebody put your hand upon your head. The hand of the Lord comes upon you. You will run. You will overtake. You will recover all. The hand, the hand of the Lord comes upon you. You will attron the chariot. You will attron those who have gone ahead of you. In the name of Jesus, God will collapse time on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, what was not possible in 10 months will become a reality in 2 months. If you believe God, shout a resounding amen. Shout a loud amen. Shout a very loud amen. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. Say, for exhortation comes neither from the east nor from the west, but from the, not from the south, but God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. Is your time for an exhortation? Is your time for a lifting? Is your time for a promotion? In the name of Jesus, God is going to judge that situation in your favor. Yes, they betrayed you. But the judge of all is going to judge you to favor you. Yes, they disappointed you. But he's going to judge you to favor you. In the name of Jesus. If you believe God, shout a loud amen. Shout another loud amen. Shout a resounding amen. Wave your hand towards heaven. Daddy, we thank you for answered prayers in this place. Thank you because we are under your shadow. You have given your angels charge over us. We will not dash our feet against stones. We are protected from the evil. A thousand may fall by our side and ten thousand by our right side. Evil is far away from us. It's far away from us. It's far away from our family. It's far away from our friends in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, peace upon this nation. Peace in the economy. Peace in the education sector. Peace, O oh Lord, in the northeast. Peace in the northwest. Peace in the north central. Peace in the southwest. Peace in the southeast. Peace in the south to south. In the name of Jesus. We decree, Lord, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. This nation will be filled with the knowledge of your glory. Men will bow down and worship you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe God, shout a resounding amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Shout a resounding amen. amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and give him praise. Clap your hands because God has done it already. We are rejoicing now. After the third day of glory is a day of resurrection, is a day of manifestation, is a day of testimonies. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow! Be expectant. This last two months is going to be awesome. Awesome miracles. Hallelujah! Can we take communion this evening? We sanctify the bread and the wine in the name of Jesus. I put you in front. Front of my melody. You were all that matters. You were all that matters. I'll make room for two. Oh! 
Alleluia. As we take this bread, we partake of the body of Christ. Christ is the head, we are the body. And Bible says, He died, He was resurrected, He ascended, and is now seated at the right hand of God in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers, above every name that is named, not only in this age, but in that age that which is to come. And because the earth is far above all principalities and power, and we are partaking of the body, we are proclaiming that we are the body of Christ. We are proclaiming to the angels. We are proclaiming to the demons. We are proclaiming to powers and principalities. We are proclaiming to men and women. We are proclaiming to situations and circumstances that we are joined as one body with Christ. Therefore, if it's far above all principalities and power, we are also far above principalities and power. Yes, yes. If it's seated at the right hand of God in heavenly places, we are seated in Him at the right hand of God in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers, and every name that is named. Whatever can be named cannot bring you down again. Amen. Whatever can be named cannot terrorize you again. Amen. Powers of darkness are not permitted to terrorize you again. Amen. Anything that cannot handle Christ that cannot put Jesus Christ down will not be able to put you down again. Amen. Because the head is exalted, the body is also exalted. Because the head is glorified, the body is also glorified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you may take the bread. As we take this wine, we partake of the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says through the shedding of blood, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Because his blood has been shed on Calvary's cross, our sins have been remitted. The power of sin has been broken. And when the power of sin is broken, the power of the devil is broken. Hallelujah. Now we can walk in victory. We can walk in dominion over sin. We can walk in dominion over situations and circumstances of life. So we want to take this wine that represents the blood of Jesus Christ with understanding. That what I am saying is that I have dominion in situations and circumstances of life. That powers of darkness cannot hold me down because I have overcome the power of sin. Generational curses cannot hold me down again. Because I have overcome the power of sin that caused the generational issues in the first place. That Jesus Christ has handled situations of life from the root. The root cause was sin and it was handled and he overcame sin. And he overcame it not on his behalf for himself but because of you. So as you partake of this wine that represents the blood of Jesus Christ, you are saying, I am not just an overcomer. I have dominion. I, the situations and circumstances are under my dominion. When I decree a thing, it will be established. You may take the wine. Just wave your hand towards heaven and give God praise. Daddy will bless you and give you praise and glory. We thank you for the victory that you wrought 2,000 years ago. You spoiled principalities and powers. You made an open show of them. You triumphed over them in all things. Thank you. Thank you. You said, I saw the devil fall like lightning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we have the victory already. We are partakers of the finished work. If you believe God, can you shout a loud Amen. Shout a resounding amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The victory is won already. Three days of glory is gone already. Hallelujah. But there is one matter we must address this evening. That matter is because a man of God, our pastor, is celebrating his jubilee today. Can we appreciate the man of God, Pastor Yemi Ajadi? 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord. Hallelujah. Man of God, we appreciate and celebrate you. Pastor Yemi is indeed a man with a big heart. He loves people genuinely. He's hardworking. He's extremely intelligent and brilliant man. We appreciate you. God bless you. Can we stretch out our hands towards him and just bless him? Father, Lord, we bless you for your son. Thank you, Lord, for how far you have helped him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We decree upon you. With long life, God will satisfy you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ tarries in his coming, we will celebrate 70 years with you. And if he tarries a little bit more, we will celebrate 80. And if you should desire, we will celebrate 90 with you. And if Jesus tarries and you also desire, we will celebrate 100, a century in the name of Jesus. And you will celebrate in sound health, in sound mind, you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your children are blessed. Your children's children are blessed. Your great-grandchildren are blessed in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hands to do, God will prosper it. The grace of God that has manifest in your life this far will be multiplied in the name of Jesus. It will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, the knowledge of Christ. The eyes of your understanding will be enlightened in the name of Jesus. You will not be found wanting. You will not miss your way in the name of Jesus. You are strengthened in your inner man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you lay hands on the sick, they will recover in the name of Jesus. You will speak the word of God with boldness. The word of God in your mouth will not return to you in void in the name of Jesus. The beginning of the glory of God is this season and we receive it on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe God, can we shout a loud amen for our pastor? So, Pastor Yemi is so diligent that even in the midst of celebration, the word of God is still coming true. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that's who he is. The word to us is that he should tell you that he is able to deliver. So submit to him wholeheartedly. That word is for somebody and you know yourself. If you believe God, shout a loud amen. amen. God is able. Somebody shout is able. He's able to deliver. Therefore, don't look for an alternative. Just wait and trust him and you will see the manifestation of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you have been blessed these three days? I, I, I can see a dew. It's like somebody has been drained or somebody has walked in the desert for a long time, drained of energy, drained emotionally, drained spiritually as a dew from heaven to refreshing you. Receive strength to end on a high note. Receive strength to finish strong this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and may God grant you peace, shalom in the name of Jesus. The fullness of the goodness of the Lord upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until we see you again, God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. We do appreciate you. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so by clicking the subscribe button so that you get updated whenever we post more edifying content on this channel. Once again, we appreciate you. Thank you and God bless you.